While driving trucks out of town, a Maryland court upholds a Baltimore City ordinance limiting where food trucks can do their business. As Devin Baderlotta explains, the reinstated rule has some food trucks dealing meals elsewhere. Some truck owners at Taste of Three Cities didn't even know the rule had been reinstated, and now they'll have to mind where they park to do business in Baltimore. Baltimore's growing food truck community rolled into Patterson Park Saturday, preparing for a massive festival two days after a new setback appeared on the menu. The only way to stay in business is to stay in business. This week, a Maryland Court of Special Appeals judge overturned a lower court's ruling that Baltimore City's so-called 300-foot rule is too vague to enforce. The ordinance bans food trucks from operating within 300 feet of a competing restaurant. Some food truck vendors claim it's unconstitutional at worst and unfair at best. The city can do whatever they want, but nobody told Burger King they couldn't open up next to McDonald's. I feel like the fair trade is, you know what, if the Gypsy Queen is going to park in front of you and sell crab cakes, then you better be better than us. The city solicitor believes the 300-foot rule levels the playing field and protects investments made in the city. Kevin Vaughn of Homemade owns both trucks and a restaurant and sees both sides. I feel like it's enough room out here for everyone to win. Um, I don't think they necessarily had to impose that. But winning for some trucks just got harder, and it's already driven some out of city limits. I really don't care. I don't do a lot in Baltimore City. I have a few locations. We do, we do a lot of events in the city, but Monday through Friday lunch, we don't do a lot. And then there's too many trucks, people fighting for the same spot. Food truck owners can now take their case to Maryland's highest court for reconsideration. In Patterson Park, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ.